Welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bros, and Bon Appetit. Today, we're making guacamole. And the ingredients for this not so traditional guac, feta cheese, avocados, limes, garlic, tomatoes, red onion, cilantro, we've got red wine vinegar, pepper, and salt. So first, we're going to take the avocados, we're going to cut them, de-seed them, we'll just take the nut out, and we're going to start building this. Check it out. Just take your knife, just go around this avocado. That comes out nicely. Knife. There you go. Do the same for the other two. So now I'm just going to take my spoon here and we are going to just scoop out all the uh, avocado goodness. So next what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this fork and I'm going to coarsely mash the avocado uh, just so it breaks it down and then once we start adding the other ingredients then you'll start getting that, uh, that texture. Next, we're going to take half of our red onion and we're going to dice it. So now that these are, whoo, baby, baby. Mm. Now that these are diced, I'm just gonna throw them right into the, the bowl. So now we've got our tomatoes. Now I just took them out of the freezer. Again, I do that to uh, 
let them gel up a little bit so it's not so watery. But what we're going to do now is we are going to slice these. And then I'm going to deceed them so it gets rid of all the uh, all the seeds and it won't turn your guacamole so watery. So now I'm going to take four cloves of garlic and peel them. Then I am going to take the microplane and we are going to shred it directly into so this will make it nice and fine. Carefully you don't cut your fingers. These things are shredded. And the smell of that garlic is so nice. So next all I'm doing is pulling off some leaves of our cilantro. Uh, we'll only need about a quarter of a cup for this. Cilantro is one of those things either you love it or you hate it. I absolutely love it. My kids absolutely hate it. Uh, to me it has that nice fresh uh, clean mouth feeling and to my kids and to many people who don't like it uh, they tend to compare it to those, remember those Thrills gum, the little purple gums that tasted like soap? Yeah, that's what they think of it. So we are just going to pull some leaves off and I'm going to chop that up again, just like everything else, fairly coarse. Next, I'm just going to take my feta cheese and I'm going to cut that up into cubes. And that will also get tossed in. Next, I'm going to take my limes. We are going to give them a little bit of zesting. We're just going to take some of that skin. Now that I've zested one of the limes, we're just going to cut them in half and we're going to juice them. Now if you do it seeds up or top up, you don't risk getting seeds in So next we're just going to add about three tablespoons of uh, the red wine vinegar. Just use your standard uh, measuring cup. Now for our last ingredients, we're going to use some fresh cracked pepper. Now you do this to your preference, so there's no actual measurement. You just kind of do what you think what works good for you. And we will do the same with our salt. And so now all there's left to do is mix this up. Our ingredients. So we're just going to combine all the ingredients up. Mix that really good. 
This smells really good, guys. Nothing being cooked. Now, if you have a vegan in your household, you can just leave out the feta cheese. Otherwise, it's a vegetarian dish. So now I'm just going to cover this and just let it sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Alright, so now we've waited our 30 minutes, taken this out of the fridge, nice and cool, had a chance to set. So I'm just going to put a little bit into a bowl here and uh, we'll taste it. chunks, colors, different textures. I've got some Tostino chips here. These are the uh, jalapeno flavor. Alright, so now's the moment of truth. Looks good. That smells really good. That was really good, guys. So I suggest maybe making this at some point for the office party, when you're hanging out with some friends, maybe Netflix and chill, maybe not, the garlic, she'll love you for it. Anyhow, this is good. Alright guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, the thumbs up. Uh, set your notifications, and please subscribe to our channel, it helps us out. With that being said, this is Beer, Bros, and Bon Appetit. Thanks for joining us.